Hi, Mike and Mel on the cafe. I hope you enjoyed tasting my wine. I made it myself, you know. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Graham. Cool. Don't worry, we'll certainly have fun tasting your new vintage. It is a pleasure to introduce winemakers Tim Lightbourne and Rob Cameron from Invivo to the cafe. Welcome, guys. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. I, can I just say, I feel very special after that. Thank you for organising that. That's a pleasure. So do I, I really do. So how did you guys, a, a winemaker producer from New Zealand, get to go and hang out and make wine with Graham Norton? So it was about, uh, I guess, five years ago, um, I was watching the show here in New Zealand and noticed that Graham had a glass of wine behind him on a show and, and was drinking it, and all of his guests as well. Always. Um, always. <laughs> that's why he does uh, such great interviews. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So I uh, rang up the show here from New Zealand, spoke to the producers and said, look, we're a New Zealand wine producer, would you guys be keen to try our wine um, you know, for the show? And they, they agreed to that, didn't really know that what we'd do in the future, obviously. Um, so I sent in a case, 12 bottles, and I kept chasing them up over the phone. Uh, and then they came back to me and said, actually, Graham quite likes your wine. So then sort of uh, a light bulb went on for us and said, hey, look, can we be the official wine supplier to the show? So we supplied Graham his wine, so it's our uh, in vivo Sauvignon Blanc. And then all the guests on his show actually have our wine as well, and they all get to take home a bottle. And we also do the green room afterwards. afterwards. And Rob, this has been a spectacular relationship. I mean, he's into sure. making his third vintage already. Yep. How important do you think it's been to the branding of in vivo? Oh, well, I mean, what in vivo means is in life, and that's what we are about, is about having fun. And wine is just such a, a fun product, and, you know, we don't take ourselves too seriously. So having someone like Graham, you know, as part of the process, it's just, it's brilliant. It really sort of sums up what, what Tim and I are about. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, we have got a little clip of, you know, Graham actually having a little sample and blending yep. all the wines. So let's take a quick look at that. Cool. Should we put in a five? Okay. Right. I drink this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Well, I'd say cheers to that. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Well done. Well, thank you. Well done. Uh, so this is the Graham Norton blend. It's that, that, and that. <laughs> I hope you like it. Um, I do right now, but then I've drunk a lot of wine, so my, my judgment could be very clouded. But, um, but in this moment, I think this is delicious. So, <laughs> so, so what was it like hanging out with him? You guys were, is he as nice as he seems? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's, what you see on the show is what he was like with us, yeah. you know, yeah. sort of three or four hours blending the wine. Um, he takes it very seriously. What did he um, want in it? What was he looking for? Yeah, it was really interesting. I mean, uh, you know, the blending part process is the very final you know, part of making the wine, but you know, one of the most important. So it was interesting for us when we're selling in the UK, here's somebody that has a real opinion about what he thinks Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc should look like. So he was looking at it very much from that lens, whereas, you know, we're, we're from New Zealand and we think something quite different. So it was really, really interesting for us to sort of see what he thought was the right way of Did doing it. Did you get your way, though? Can I open this, yeah, by absolutely. the way? Oh, yeah, let's taste it. I want to taste it. This is very exciting. Yeah. Okay. Um, so tell us about this me. one. This is the third vintage that he's done, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so the first uh, vintage, I took 10 kilos of grapes to him, to his show, which he stood on with a bucket on the set of his show. Uh, and then we took the juice back. And then last year, uh, we did a blending session in a London apartment. And then this year, we are in Ireland uh, in a place called Bantry House where he was holidaying okay. uh, and blended it over an afternoon there. Nice work, okay. I should sniff it, shouldn't I, like that? Have a smell. Yeah. This is 2016 Marlborough. Oh. Very fresh. I was about to say, it smells fresh. I was going to say, it, it smells fresh. fresh. Yeah, really, really fresh. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, oh, I love this job. It's very important research. Grass, cut grass. Do I say that too? Yeah, mm. sure. Limes, yeah. passion fruit. It just smells of summer to Ooh, me. Oh, yeah, okay, good. Yeah, oh, that no, is that is nice awesome. Fresh. Yeah. That is absolutely delicious. Well, yeah, that's very, very good. And has this hit the market yet? Yeah, out this week, actually. So nice. Nationwide. Good work. And uh, you guys, you know, you're conquering the world at the moment. I just heard that you've uh, managed to do a big deal in Australia as well. So what's happening there? Yeah, yeah so we're, um, we're stocked in over 1,100 stores uh, in BWS with the Graham Norton Sauvignon. He's on TV there as well, so they, they love him over there as well. So, yeah, we're quite excited yeah. about that. And we've actually just won the tender for this wine for Qantas as well this week. <laughs> Wow, that's exciting times. Well, it's I can see why, because it's good. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely delicious. Um, and having Chief Winemaker Graham Norton on the bottle as well doesn't hurt, does it? <laughs> no, it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Onwards and upwards, I'm sure. And that really is cut grass. Cut yeah, grass, it's, a, grass it's an inspiring things. story, you know, yeah. just listening to what you guys have had, you know, over the years, mm. not only with your wine, but your business as well. It's, it's truly mm. incredible. Thank you. And um, Graham, much. I do believe, is part of the business as well. Yep. Yeah, he's a uh, part owner now as well. So, oh, right. um, okay. Like so, so much he bought part of the company <laughs> hey thank you so much for coming in Thanks, Tim and Rob thank been a pleasure and for sharing your story with us as well good luck with the new launch and we're more than happy to test any of your wines yes. that you want yes. <laughs> or if you'd like us to come with you to see Graham, Graham? we're happy yeah. to do that as well